Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the details of the HER2 Herb 2 amplification test using the FISH technique. This test is crucial in determining the treatment path for patients with breast cancer, so let's get started. Pre-test information. Before diving into the specifics of the HER2 FISH test, it's important to note the pre-test requirements. Along with a histopathology report, an immunohistochemistry IG test for HER2 is necessary. These, along with the paraffin block, are submitted to the laboratory. Disease associated. The HER2 herb 2 gene amplification or overexpression is found in 15-20% of patients with breast cancer. This alteration is associated with shorter disease-free and overall survival. Specimen used. The test is performed on tissue samples obtained from breast cancer patients. Components include The FISH test involves fluorescently labeled DNA probes that target the HER2 gene. These probes bind to specific regions of the chromosome that contain HER2. Test report time. The test typically takes four working days to generate a report. Test information. Accurate assessment of HER2 status is critical for guiding therapy. HER2 positive breast cancers can be effectively treated with targeted therapies like trastuzumab, herceptin, and pertuzumab. The FISH technique is particularly useful in cases where HER2 status is equivocal, providing clear results that aid in treatment decisions. According to the ESCO 2018 guidelines, all newly diagnosed breast cancer patients who develop metastatic disease should undergo HER2 testing on tissue from the metastatic site. Conclusion Thank you for joining us today as we explored the HER2 Herb 2 amplification test using FISH. Remember, this test plays a crucial role in determining the best treatment options for patients with breast cancer.